Okay. This will be part one of review for my three new traps I got at Walmart today. Yes, I'm getting lots of stuff at Walmart this weekend. This will be the final thing I need to go. Anyways, I got the Bakugan Trap Chaos High Lash you apparently fell over. He's pretty tall. He's got manual parts. Unusual for a trap. He's got little fists. Claws on his shields. And then his horn you pull out. Like that. See, he's pretty tall. One of the taller of the traps. See, let's get a comparison shot of him with Mega Nemesis. Get another card out there for him. Just two cards. And here is Mega Nemesis. And it's for the heck of it, Mega Brontes, too. Right here. Mega Brontes. Mega Nemesis. Eyelash is shorter than both of them, as you can see. But still, he's quite he's kinda of tall still. Not counting the shoulder spikes, he's almost exactly the same height as Eliko. Who is hiding off screen back there. And Magas are kind of hogging the glory there. Anyways, back to High Lash. I got the Chaos version, the only one they had. He changed attributes to Aquas and Ventus. He is white with the normal Chaos gold accents, the blue horns plus little spikes on his cheeks, green eyes, and then he's also got red, which I don't think I've really seen on very many Chaos Bakugan. He's got red toes, red accents on his chest, and red accents on either shield. Let's see. Um, uh, unlike Carl Snot, his preceder who looked very similar to him, Highlash's head and his little back flap are two separate pieces. They are not connected in any way. I like this very much. Carl, on Carl Slot, they were all one salt. The head and the back flap were all one salt piece. Plus, he had a second back flap behind that, like this. Uh, we all know how much Carl Slot fails, so I won't go into it. Let's see, his fists are a little tight to flip out and in, especially flipping back in. But whatever. So he does have the the like the flight mode that he has where he folds folds up with just his shields sticking out the sides. I have found a way to do that. Let me fold in those little hands again. The rest of it will be real easy. Basically just close him back up, but leave the spikes on his shield plus the little back head flap out. Like that. I have not yet attempted to try and combine him with Ingram, however. In fact, I shall try that now. Ingram. Flip the bird mask. And let's see. Ingram and bird mask. And this is my attempt at combining like them like they do in the show. As you can see, I have failed. Which, Ingram's legs are the perfect width to go right around that little head flap. So I wonder if there isn't a way to co actually combine them. Let's put Ingram up. 
go ahead and open Hylops back up. Closing them back up into barrel form. First off, you fold in all his manual parts again. His tight fist, his shield claws, and his horn. Like that. So he's back to that boring stage. The rest of it is spring loaded. You will not, you'll have to get everything folded in before you can just leave him alone. Move the card out of the way so you didn't pop open. The, just push the head flap down. That will automatically push the head down. Push the legs up. Once you push the le once the legs are up, that will hold the head down, but the legs won't stay up until the feet are up. Which, technically, actually the legs won't stay up until both the feet are up and shields are snapped down onto them. Like that. Final step is just folding these claws. Which they are spring loaded, by the way. Just so you know. Those top two claws are spring loaded. His barrel. Unusual for most Bakugan, he has his attribute symbol on the back. Chaos symbol, that's his front. So let's see. Chaos symbol on the back. That. Whatever. Hylash was not really what I expected. I expected a little bit more from him, but still, Hylash is still an awesome trap that I do recommend.